My name is Arlene Malinowski, and the piece that I'm doing is called A Little Bit Not Normal. Um, it's based on a comment that my deaf mother had made to me in relationship to my depression when she said, no, tell daddy your brace a little bit not normal. He would feel quilty. I've always felt like I was part of the disability community, but that it affected things around me. And about 10 years ago, uh, I went into a severe clinical depression, not knowing what it was with um, panic disorder and spent, lost about three years of my life. I knew that I wanted to write about the experience because I do solo autobiographical work, um, usually around the topic of disability. And I knew that this was an important piece, but I didn't know why. And when people were approaching me about the work, I would say, yeah, well, I'm writing about this story and it's about me. And I realized that the, the true point of the story was the shame and the secrecy that you have around mental illness. Well, the research tells us that there is 25% of the population is going to have some kind of a mental illness at some point in their life. And when you look at those statistics, in addition to the statistics of people that are affected around them, that's a lot of people that hide the secret. And I think what is unique about my play and what really propelled me into writing it is that I think it needs to come out of the closet, that mental illness needs to be treated as any other disability um, without the secrecy, the shame, whispers behind it. Here at Victory Gardens I'm doing a reading of the play. It's a work in progress. It's for development purposes. What my, what my goal is, is to sit on stage with minimal lights and sound and just let people hear the words. And then afterwards the most important part is um, having a dialogue with the audience. What resonates, what rang true, uh, what parts of it were people confused by, moved by, what, um, what needs to be changed. In any, you know, in any new piece, having audience feedback is really critical for me.